Hello my YouTube family, on this video today I'll be taking you all on a tour through the St. Anthony's Church. The Anthony's Church was the second German-speaking Catholic parish on the south side of the city. It was founded in 1872 by an overflow of 150 families from Holy Trinity Church at South 4th and West Spruce Street. Before the present church was built, services were held in a nearby school building. St. Anthony's Catholic Church was built in 1877. A site file exists for this property. It contains additional information such as correspondence, newspaper clippings, or historical information. It is a public record and may be viewed in person at the Wisconsin Historical Society State Historic Preservation Office, established in 1872. It was the second German Roman Catholic Church on the city's south side. In 1903, the tower was extended to provide for a belfry. In 1910, Kirchhoff and Rose designed the sanctuary extension and sacristy. In 1948, a new lowered front entry was added. It took almost nine years to complete St. Anthony's Church, but the results were well worth the wait. The meticulously crafted German Gothic Revival Church commands as much attention today as it did more than a century ago when Milwaukeeans praised it as a magnificent structure. The impressive limestone walls of the church are a reminder of an old regional tradition in German church building. In the southern, predominantly Catholic areas of Germany, where many of St. Anthony's original parishioners had their roots, stone was the preferred building material for churches because it was readily available. Churches in the northern, predominantly Protestant regions of Germany however were usually built of brick because good quality local building stone was scarce and imported stone too expensive building saint anthony's and stone proved to be much more costly and labor intensive than the parishioners had anticipated however so construction had to be stretched out over nearly a decade in the german tradition St. Anthony's large bell tower is centered at the front of the church and it ranks as one of the mouth side's most important visual landmarks. The stepped gable that trims the front roof line is an early Renaissance, Renaissance style detail that appeared at the very end of the Gothic period. In Germany, the stone belfry and slate clad spire above the clock faces have the almost transparent look of filigree, filigree decoration, which is characteristic of German style open work. They were added to the church in 1903. According to designs furnished by the original architects, entering the church is like taking a trip back to old Germany. The designs of the spectacular wooden altars and pulpit reflect the flamboyant ornamentation and architectural extravagance that is closely identified with their 19th century German builders. The interior is especially noteworthy because it features dramatic arched plaster vaults in the ceiling that are divided by projecting bands called ribs. Rib vaulting is one of the most significant stylistic refinements of the Gothic period and a visit to St. Anthony's is one of the rare opportunities in this country to experience this type of church architecture. St. Anthony's was the second German-speaking Catholic parish on the south side of the city. It was founded in 1872 by an overflow of 150 families from Holy Trinity Church at South 4th and West Bruce Street. Before the present church was built, services were held in a nearby school building. Today, St. Anthony's is a multicultural parish that caters to the diverse needs of its surrounding neighborhoods. Anthony was a simple and humble friar who preached the good news lovingly and with fearless courage. The youth whom his fellow friars thought was uneducated became one of the great preachers of his day. He was a man of great penance and apostolic zeal, but he was primarily a saint of the people. Anthony was born into a wealthy family, 
and was raised in the church. He joined the Augustinian canons in 1210 and probably became a priest in 1220. He joined the Franciscan order hoping to preach to the Saracens Muslims and be martyred. On his way to Morocco, he became seriously ill and was forced to return home. Saint Anthony was moved by their simple lifestyle, asked to join them and in the summer of 1220 he received his habit. The baby Jesus is reminiscent of the vision that Anthony had in Campo San Piero. It also expresses his attachment to the humanity of Christ and his closeness to God. Anthony is most famous for being the patron saint of lost things. He's also the patron saint of amputees, animals, Brazil, el elderly people, horses, oppressed people, poor people, pregnant women, shipwrecks, and many, many more. As one of the most popular Catholic saint, Anthony's is well known and loved. Saint Anthony's Catholic Church is 151 years old. Now that's all for today my YouTube family. I hope you all enjoyed this video and this great information about this Catholic Church. See you all in the next one. Thanks for watching till the end.